the Milestone series on recovery, tracking the milestones of the recovery world, chronicling the industry leaders, revealing their insights. Milestones, saving families, saving lives. Jason, as the admissions coordinator for Milestones Ranch Malibu, what is your responsibility? Well, primarily I answer the phones and the initial contact that either the families or the addictive individual um, has when they first call in. And I either guide that person uh, towards treatment or assist the family in a time of crisis and help them uh, to both manage their own situations and that of the addicted individual. And what's particularly interesting about you is that you're an alumni, which means you've been through this place, you've experienced it. So tell us about your experience having been through Milestones Ranch, Malibu. Absolutely, absolutely. Milestones was actually the fourth treatment center that I'd ever been in. And previous to coming to Milestones, I think that there was a deeper level of emotional understanding that I hadn't been able to reach. Um, there was truth about myself that I wasn't willing to see. And Milestones, because of its uniquely soft approach and the warm, kind, caring nature of the staff, I was finally able to get a good honest look at myself for the very first time ever. So that, that warm, soft approach you talk about is creating the, the place of safety and trust. But what else was it that helped you to break through and say, now I was willing to see myself? High intelligence and uh, educational level of the clinicians. You know, um, anyone who suffers from the disease of addiction wants to say, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Yet because the staff was so well-trained and educated and intelligent, um, I clearly saw that I had met my match. <laughs> was there something else specific that comes to mind when you think about that, that maybe that moment of clarity, that, that moment when you shifted? Right from the very beginning, um, I did an interview uh, with a psychologist uh, prior to my admission, and um, I could just tell by the intelligent questions that he asked uh, the kindness in his eyes, um, that he was genuine, and that he not only cared, but he was confident that he was going to be able to help me. What was it about the kindness and the genuineness of that person, that psychologist, that helped be instrumental in your healing? Well, when you're out there in the uh, active uh, world of addiction, uh, you come across a lot of shady characters people that you not only don't trust, but you shouldn't trust. Are you talking about professionals even? Yeah, maybe, you know, but mostly, you know, related to drugs and alcohol and the behavior that goes along with it. Um, and you're always hiding, you know, your addiction and the things that you have to do in order to obtain more of your drug. So are you saying that with this, this psychologist, you felt like you no longer had to hide? Yeah, yeah, not only from him, but not only from myself. He made it comfortable for me to be me, even though I had been, you know, practicing things that were less than exemplary behavior. So as a result of him being kind and genuine and creating that safe place, you were able to have the breakthrough, which was to stop hiding from yourself. And does that mean to stop hiding from your own emotions? Yeah, yeah, and to be able to sort out your emotions. Emotions uh, during active addiction can be a bit confusing. You know, we need help um, uh, in early recovery to kind of sort through those emotions and be able to organize our thoughts. And um, Milestones did a phenomenal job of assisting me in that area. So being an alumni, now being admissions coordinator, how can you use that experience to help someone else to know, is this the right place for me? Well, I think because I believe it in my heart that that comes through both in my voice and in my mannerisms when I meet someone for the first time. So you speak obviously from a place of sincerity and, and success, but what else, else is it about Milestones Ranch Malibu that you say to someone, this is a very special place? I tell them the same story that I just told you, you know. Um, I had been trying to get into a facility that was a little more of a behavioral modification model. Uh, kind of a push peanuts across the floor with your nose kind of place. And I thought that because I was so tough that I needed a place that was so tough. And the truth turned out to be exactly the opposite. That I needed a place where I could truly open up and feel safe. So instead of actually pushing you, the fact that they allowed you to express yourself and to discover 
you were able to get to the place of healing. I thought I needed this, and I got this. You got the open hand, the acceptance. Mm -hmm. What else is it about the property, the property itself that says this is a good place for healing? Um, everything about this property says it's a good place for healing. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful location. I believe historically it's a Chumash Indian healing ground and uh, everyone that steps foot on this ranch, myself included, uh, can literally feel uh, some type of vibration or energy that is calming, peaceful, and makes you feel safe. So is it that about the place that helped you to break through the substance abuse? You talked about calming, peaceful? I think that Milestones is multifaceted and the calming, peaceful atmosphere um, is, you know, but one of many different aspects of the ranch. And then the staff um, adds to that, the food, um, the activities, you know, uh, the groups, the individual sessions. There's a lot of different things that take place at Milestones while you're here. And I couldn't begin to tell you which one of them was more important or had the most impact on me because- They all, all came together for you. Absolutely. Unlike many other places, Milestones is not a lockdown facility. It's not a clinic. It's not a, you know, a dorm. It's a very open environment. There's lots of space. There's lots of nature, as you said, peaceful, calm, serene. How was that significant to your healing? Well, I think it made me able to relax. Um, you know, scientists have proven that uh, someone in early recovery is very susceptible to fear and anxiety, and they're stuck in the midbrain. When you're in a calm, peaceful, serene setting, it's much easier to retain new information as opposed to being uh, fearful, anxious, and closed-minded. So what is the message that you share with other people that are about to enter the step, the process of recovery? I tell them that if I can do it, anybody can, <laughs> as, as always. Um, and you know, if you're gonna have a chance at recovery, which is such a difficult thing to obtain, that you know, in my personal opinion and experience, Milestones gives you the absolute best chance at that. How do you feel now being free from the past? I can tell you that um, it's entirely different. Um, my life is night and day. My, I've gone and done a complete 180. I've changed what I do for a living. Um, I changed where I, where I live. And um, Milestones has affected every area of my life. So Jason, in your life, for what are you grateful? I'm grateful for my children. Um, one of the goals uh, that I wanted to achieve at Milestones was not only to achieve sobriety, but to uh, be a better father. And uh, thanks to Milestones, I believe I've achieved that. How can we make a bigger contribution in the world? We as a professional, as an individual, anyone, how can we make a bigger contribution in the world? Well, I think as it directly applies uh, to treatment and addiction in general, Milestones has always been an in industry leader uh, in setting, um, you know, a high example of integrity, care, just an altruistic model of not only how to run a business, uh, but how to take care of clients and, uh, you know, provide the highest level of care in the industry. And I think that as we continue to do that and continue to grow, and can continue to provide even more services that the rest of the industry will have absolutely no ch other choice but to follow. That's a significant point about following, you know, someone being the leader. And you said earlier, you went through three treatments before coming here. And now things are changing where the industry is starting to collaborate more, where a lot of the treatment centers around the country are saying, let's work together for the betterment of the person that's really the most important, which is the the individual patient, the individual client. How significant for you and how critical for you is the collaboration of all of the people involved in the recovery process? Well, certainly, you know, it, they say it takes a village. And <laughs> in, in my experience, it's even more than that. You know, it takes entire states and entire countries. It takes a village to do what? Because not everyone knows that expression. It takes a village to, to help an addicted individual. Um, and there's so many people out there suffering from the disease of addiction. There's no uh, limit to uh, people who are sick. And you know, we need to be able to provide care uh, for all of them. Milestones can't do it on its own. We all need to work uh, together to not only come up with new and better methods of treatment, uh, but to support each other 
in order to help even more people and help the people that we do even better. Jason, you've been through the recovery process. You've been through places that didn't work for you. You've been through the place that did work for you. You have so much that you are now sharing with other people to help them on the road to recovery. And I say thank you. Oh, believe me, it's my pleasure. Thank you.